All right, so in this video today, what we're going to be taking a look at is the terms believe and surrender, how they relate to each other and what each term means from a biblical viewpoint in terms of looking at them in, in the regards of salvation. So looking at these two terms from the salvation process, and I want to start with the biblical text in James 2.19, which says, Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. So this verse says that even the devils, even the demons, believe that there is a God. The demons say, we believe that you are the son of God, talking to Jesus. So the, the demons, they even believe. They know that Jesus is the son of God, and they believe in God. So we know that obviously the demons and the devils are not going to spend eternity in heaven with Christ. They haven't inherited salvation. And so their their belief is not enough to warrant salvation. Belief, period, for anyone is not enough to warrant salvation, to um, give someone salvation through Christ. It also takes surrender. Now, for surrender, we're going to look at Galatians 2.20. And this is Paul talking. He says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, in the life which I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So this text, Paul is basically saying that even though I'm living, I'm living in the flesh, I'm physically living here on this earth, it's not me that's living, it's Christ that's living through me because I'm completely surrendered to him as the Lord of my life and I'm doing his will, I'm obeying his commandments, I'm doing what he wants me to do, where he wants me to do it, I'm completely following him. That's the difference between just belief and surrender. Now both are necessary. Certainly, certainly before you surrender your life, you have to believe that Christ is the Son of God and that He truly rose again from the dead and that He is the perfect atonement for your sins. You certainly have to believe that before you can surrender, but belief is not enough to save you. You also have to surrender to Him as Lord of your life. And of course, also repent. Repentance is necessary for salvation too. And I'll, I'll put that in the description box of this video. I have a video on repentance that will help to clarify what that, uh, the definition of that term is as well. So belief, to recap here, belief is simply knowing that Christ came, he died, he rose again. It's the simple belief in those facts. Surrender is surrendering to him as Lord, Lord of your life, meaning you're going to follow him, you're going to obey him, and he is the number one priority in your life in terms of following him, and being obedient to him. Thank you for watching this video today. I hope this helps you to get clarity on these, on these topics, on these terms, the definition of surrender and belief and how they relate to each other in the salvation process. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. We'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed day.